inside St. Joachim and Anne's Church in Queens Village, the Haitians of the Brooklyn Diocese are holding a celebration. January 1st is a great day. It's a new day in the year. And a day of national pride for all the people of Haiti. It was over two centuries ago that the island declared independence from France. We brought freedom in the third world. Very resilient people. They were able to bounce back. And no matter what the problem, they seemed to come back and try to do the best they can. As he leads the worship service, Bishop DiMarzio again shows his strong support for the Haitian people. This is our space. Eight years ago, he was with them after a devastating earthquake rocked the Caribbean nation and claimed as many as 300,000 lives. The bishop rushing to Haiti, comforting survivors and helping in reconstruction efforts. Now he's standing with the Haitians at another time of crisis one that could force many to leave the U.S. a year from next July. Ever since the quake, Haitians have been permitted to live and work in America under what's known as Temporary Protective Status, or TPS. But the Trump administration has determined conditions in their homeland have improved, and it's time for nearly 60,000 immigrants to go. Unfortunately, the TPS has, uh, has, has been decided, and uh, we want to try to help people if they have to go back. The bishop offering that help at the conclusion of the liturgy, a glimmer of hope in a time of uncertainty. This sub dimatio make us uh, like uh, human beings. We so happy because on Christ we don't have color, we don't have nation. Even though all the hard times, we do believe and have faith that one day it will be better. On the anniversary of their freedom, the Haitians renew their vows to remain resilient. If we were able to take our, have our independence from France, we still can do great things. God can do great things for us. In Queens Village, Katie Angusser, Curtin's News.